Hello, welcome to the last video of this section, Licensing Overview of VMware vSphere. In this section, we are going to take a look at vSphere license additions and vCenter license additions. Whenever you are going to transform your business from physical data center to virtual data center, you need to buy two type of licenses. One is vSphere license, another one is vCenter server license. vSphere license comes on the per processor basis. It means if your ESXi host has four processor, you need to buy license for four processors. And if we'll talk about the vCenter license, if you want to deploy vCenter server in single site, you need to buy vCenter server license for one instance. Moving to the vSphere license additions, we have three types of licenses. One is standard, another one is enterprise plus, and third one is platinum. In standard, it provides an entry level solutions for basic virtualization, whereas enterprise plus offers the full range of vSphere feature for transforming data center into virtualization or cloud infrastructure. If we'll talk about the third one, which is vSphere Platinum license, it enables you to secure applications, infrastructure, data, and access with a combined capability of core vSphere and VMware app defense. Moving to the vCenter server licenses. In that also, we have three types of additions. One is essentials, second one is foundation, and third one is standard. If we'll talk about the essentials, vCenter server for essentials is similar to the foundation in terms of its features and limitations. When bundled with the vSphere licenses, vCenter for essentials allows for management of up to three vSphere ESXi hosts with up to two physical CPUs. There is no support for vMotion or vSphere high availability with vSphere licenses. If we'll talk about the foundation, this is a version of vCenter server which is limited in some feature when compared to the other versions. And the final one is standard. So vCenter server standard is the version which contains all available features of a vCenter server. That's all from the additions. If you want to know more about the vSphere licenses, please click on the link given on the screen. And that's end of this video. And we have covered so far in this entire section about the overview of virtualization, overview of software defined data center, architecture of server virtualization, VMA vSphere overview, a licensing of vSphere. And in next section, we are going to cover about the VMA ESXi and vCenter server. Stay tuned. Thank you.